Welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. I'm Lara, and in this lesson I'm going to show you three patterns to play Harvest Moon. We'll cover one strumming pattern and two finger picking patterns. We'll also go over the riff that appears throughout the song and two ways to play it. During this lesson you'll find the lyrics, chords, patterns, and tablature on screen. You can also download them as a PDF from my Patreon page and you'll find the link down below in the description. I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that the riff and the patterns will sound slightly different on your instrument because your fourth string is one octave higher than mine. Let's start by taking a look at how to play the chords in this song and some tips on transitioning between them. Our first chord is E minor seven. This is the second fret of strings one and three. For this song, I like to play this chord with my middle and ring fingers. You can also play it with your index and middle fingers. However, because of the chord transitions in this song, we're often going from D major seven to E minor seven, and playing this with our middle and ring fingers makes it a bit easier to transition. Our next chord is D. D is played across the second fret of strings two, three, and four. I'm playing this with my index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Next we have D6. D6 is a bar chord that goes across all four strings on the second fret. You can play this with your index finger, or if we're transitioning from D to D6, it's just a matter of placing your pinky down on the second fret of the first string. Next we have D major seven. We go from D6 to D major seven by moving our pinky out to the fourth fret of the first string. Next we have our G chord. I'm playing G with my middle finger on the second fret of the first string, index finger on the second fret of the third string, and ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And finally we have our A chord. I'm playing A with my index finger on the first fret of the third string, and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Now that we've learned the chords, let's take a look at the riff that starts the introduction of this song and appears many times throughout the song. We'll look at two ways to play it, using strumming and using finger picking. Here's how this sounds. Let's look at this one up close. The chord sequence used in this riff is D to D6 to D major 7. Here's what the first strumming version of this riff looks like. I'm starting with a down strum on D and then a down strum on D6, placing down my pinky, and then moving my pinky out to the fourth fret, I'm going to play down, up, down, up, down on our D major seven chord. Here's how this looks at a slow tempo. And as we bring it up to the tempo of this song, our second option is to finger pick this riff. Here's how this sounds. D chord, I'm picking string four with my thumb, string three with my index finger, strings one and two together with my middle and ring fingers, then I'm placing my pinky down to form our D6 chord 
and I'm picking strings one and two again. Then I'm picking string four, string three, and then I'm placing my pinky down on the fourth fret to form our D major seven chord. I'll pick strings one and two twice. Then I'm going back to string three and finishing with strings one and two together. Here's how this looks at a slow tempo. And now bringing this up to the tempo of this song. All three of the patterns that we're covering in this lesson consist of four beats, so you can use them interchangeably, alternating back and forth between them. If you're going to apply pattern one a certain number of times, to any chord in this song, then you would apply pattern two or pattern three the same number of times to that chord. Our first pattern is an easy downstrum pattern. Let's take a close look at this pattern and how to apply it to the verses and the chorus. For this first pattern, we're doing a downstrum on beats one and three. Here's how this looks on our E minor seven chord. The rhythm is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For the verses, we'll start each line on E minor seven and we'll end each line by playing our riff twice. So for example, for the first line, using the strumming pattern, we're going to play eight down strums on E minor seven. to our riff two times. This is repeated for every line of the verse, so every line is played the same way. Now I'll play through verse one, adding in the lyrics. Come a little bit closer Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. strumming pattern to the chorus, we're going to do four down strums on each chord, starting with G, then going to A, then to E minor 7, back to A, and then we'll play our riff four times. Now I'll play through the chorus using the strumming pattern and adding in the lyrics. Because I'm still in love with you. I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon If you're enjoying this lesson, please give this video a like and thank you for subscribing.
Here's how our second pattern sounds. Let's take a close look at this one and how to apply it to our song. Here's the second pattern played at a nice slow tempo on our E minor 7 chord. I'm starting by picking strings 4 down to 1 with my thumb, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Then I'm going back to string 3 with my index finger, and finishing on string 2 with my middle finger. The rhythm of this pattern is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Bringing this pattern up to the tempo of this song sounds like this. For the verses, each line is played the same way. We'll apply this pattern four times to our E minor 7 chord and then we'll play our riff twice. So here's what any of the lines of the verses will look like, instrumental only. Now I'll play through the second verse, adding in the lyrics. Taking a look at the chorus, we'll apply the second pattern two times to every chord change. When we get to the riff at the end of the second line, then we'll play our riff four times. Now I'll play through the chorus, adding in the lyrics, using the second pattern. Because I'm still in love with you, I want to see you dance again. Because I'm still in love with you. Now we've come to our third pattern. Let's look at this one up close and how to apply it to our verses and how to finish the final chorus. Here's our third pattern played at a slow tempo on our E minor 7 chord. I'm starting by picking string 4 with my thumb then strings 1 and 2 together with my middle and ring fingers. Then I'm picking string 3 with my index finger and finishing on strings 1 and 2 together. The rhythm of this pattern is 1, 2, 3, 4. Bringing this pattern up to the tempo of this song sounds like this. Applying this pattern to the verses, starting on our E minor 7 chord, we'll play this pattern four times, and then we'll play our riff twice. 
and every line of the verses is played the same way. Now I'll sing through verse 1 using this third pattern. Come a little bit closer, hear what I have to say. We'll apply this pattern two times to every chord change until we get to the riff at the end of the second line. For the very final chorus, at the end of the last riff, we're going back to our D chord. So for example, on the final riff, we'll do one arpeggio down strum on our D chord. Now I'll play through the final chorus using this third pattern. Because I'm still in love with you, I want to see you dance again. Because I'm still in love with you, on this harvest moon. to play Harvest Moon and two options for playing the riff. Have fun practicing and thank you for watching. Because I'm still in love with you, I want to see you dance again. Because I'm still in love with you.